Good morning, good morning. Welcome to the Breakfast Show and welcome back to the Breakfast Show with VSA 360. We are bringing this back due to the popular demand of our members and also the public wanted to know more beyond the smart Roby apps that which is ubiquitous with many of our trader investor. And if you are first time in here, I'd like to welcome you to our breakfast show with VSA. How we can utilize the power of VSA, all the information within our tips in here. Let's go ahead and see what we have for you this morning in the market that we've seen so far of course now uh, let's look at our agenda this morning and we have temporary said that you know the KLCI has reached its peak which is many of you uh, no surprises which is around the 1470 and probably what we're going to be discussed is what likely to happen on the next step although I do know some of the more experienced trader have already shorting this market in here so this is a stage where we are likely to see market undergoing what we call the distribution stage or in other words the pullback then the question remains is very important is are we going to see a continuation the break off from here after all many of you have said hey martin is talking about the november huh? the november bullish month and if not check out the wednesday talk there i talk about this wednesday in here on either on youtube or live facebook if you could have caught it in here and how much of my reasoning is likely to break beyond the peak in here but right now what we have is the peak and of course we'll be touching base some of the information we talk about the insider buying and selling by director dealing especially if you're an experience this program in here is a wonderful program and of course we have a very special uh, uh, I think uh, announcement that we did yesterday with some of our members and some of you who have already purchased the 1111 sales I uh, uh, thank you for your support and we really appreciate your business and your support over these years and of course for those of you who are new uh, and wanted to participate we do have the 1111 sales that's right you can enjoy our 12 month membership at a very reasonable price of uh, education I suppose what we call it in here and pretty much of what the thing we talk about if VSA uh, 360 surround in here including all the insider buying and all the sign of strength sign of weakness the green Pentagon in here and also our weekly uh, live training and also uh, remember next Tuesday it will be our monthly orientation check out our uh, just uh, contact our whatsapp support here or go to our Facebook for, for more information and of course VSA in here compromise of all the stocks that you see including intraday now of course uh, let's go back to the program that we are talk about in here now we have sort of uh, you know changed the program a bit for our live Facebook uh, our live broadcast uh, for the smart Roby Busa will be on the first third and uh, Monday of the month whereas for the US market will be the second and fourth Monday of the month just take note of the announcement that we made in here so you be some and of course the VSA 360 going to show you some of the uh, past uh, uh, trade idea from the insider buying and selling and they are very very powerful uh, what we have said so far in here now let's take a look at the five things you need to do about the VSA 360 in here and uh, let's go on to the dashboard that we have and definitely this is it so one good thing we always talk about when we see all green pentagon you can see here green pentagon here green pentagon and green pentagon that's really a good one in here so the KLCI Hong wow this Hong Seng has gone up by 22% Lee form is up 4% La form that's one of the stocks which we were talking about previously in here I think uh, I think last week in our live training session for the member La form right remember how we selected that and it was in the list in here and of course uh, that's all you can see here this is the stock that I have La form in here and also Harland, right those are the two that I have and also I added on one new one in here you all still remember if not go and check out the video for our members in here so let's take a look where the market is as you can see the KLCI which I'm going to pick it up from here later on on this chart in here but more importantly is the utilities continue to be strong I think there was an article talk about how much the utility is going into back the renewable energy then we also have the next sector healthcare right finally we have Hatta turning green I think that's also one uh, news in there you can check out Hatta let's put it here 
and uh, how well that has done the Hatta. But more importantly, you can see uh, the green Pentagon came out on the day before the breakout and suddenly uh, all the call to buy is here. Call to buy, call to buy, call to buy. But previously, let's screen through. Were there any call? You see call to hold, call to sell, right? So on that basis, uh, you can ask yourself, right, from here onwards, let's push it out of my head. The call to sell, call to hold, call to sell, call to sell. Then suddenly all call to buy, call to buy, call to buy, call to buy. So there's really, uh, you know, little importance, sometimes we can call it to any of the uh, so-called analysts and as well as treat it just like pretty much of the Pentagon guider signal in here. And because of that, you could see, you know, the news, Hatta Lega, most bullish key insider, uh, Hatta Lega, Mr. Kam must be pleased with the recent 16% gain, share up despite year loss. That was sometime in uh, May already in here. Yes, we, we got to look at this, this two in here. There's some information, we'll, we'll check it out, all right? Uh, so that's on Hatta. Just for those of you who like to do more investigation, this is something that you want to be looking at. All right, so that's uh, okay. Uh, then let's go on to the sectors uh, that is uh, to the alert. So let's take a look at you know what CJ sent. It's uh, which is part of RHB Jewel. It's uh, green Pentagon because Uchi Tech turning green Pentagon. And this has always been one of the very so-called good dividend payment. You can see rating five out eight. So that's something uh, that many members of the public could see combining both FA and TA in here. So you can see from here. Any insider buying? No, there's none here. So this one has been a nice green pentagon. Let's see how much of uh, this this market can go up. And it pays a eight percent dividend. So something for our lovely, lovely FA holder in here. So that's something that you might want to pick it up. And on that, so that's on the uh, uh, for the. Uh, stocks from the FA list in here. All right, also let's uh, go on to next to our dashboard is to look at the foreign funds. Okay, the foreign fund also we want to look at the sectors in here. So you can see from the foreign fund on top of me in here, the last one, two, three, four, five, six, six days has been net inflows. Okay, the net inflows. So we have this a uh, huge outflow but the net inflow is coming in back and that's as long as the net inflow is in don't be overly bearish you can see uh, it really follows in here when they buy so we need to see and there were a huge buying 360 million close to 360 million of the buying up here and then you can see the uh, 300 and 400 million the sell off and that's also where the currency also come in in here okay now let's take a look at the uh sector in here and you can see almost all are green pentagon except for energy all right for energy sectors in here uh, all are in green pentagon apologize for that one and you can see also right now here right and now uh, everything is green pentagon and what is the biggest uh, mover is the utilities uh, the utilities in here and the energies which is previously the oil and gas has taken the back seat it's kind of strange right if you look at it with the conflict that's going in the middle east right we still getting uh you know uh lower pr oil prices because like it or not smart money would have known that and probably sold ahead when the rest of the world are turning into back on the old technology because of the US FOMC decided not to raise interest rate and this is something that I do think uh, for our members and also for the public would, ben would really benefit from here onwards okay and on the uh, monthly KLCI we can also open up on this one in here to look at the overall so-called sectors. You can see, again, we were quite spot on for the month of September, which I've been talking about many, many months. And then October finally turning. And then November, I think, do think this November will be positive because we have a streets of almost six months. Huh? almost six months of negative. And then this next three months will be the positive and should able to lift our KLCI perhaps to just passing uh you know uh positive return now remember last year in 2022 the last three days or the last day of the trading day the market were pushing up pushing up and that's how we got into uh the so-called slightly improved 
else it will be around 6% in here. So take note of this uh, market in here. And all right, and uh, the rest you can really go in. And these are the things that I think most of our uh, members should know about. And also the personal notification I have set up too. Uh, and these are the one usually I set up when we do our live training. And of course, for our members and those of you who intend to sign up for our 11-11 sale, take advantage of this because it will end on tomorrow night at midnight and uh, if you do then next week on tuesday come in and join us in our monthly orientation i'll share with you a couple of things that you can get you quickly started and capitalize on this nice uptrend that we see in this coming november in here and of course if you have any stocks that you want me to look at feel free to pencil those in i'll be happy to look at into that now, as I said before, the KLCR right now is in stage three distribution, which we see up here, okay? So stage three, let me just bring this here. So in the stage three distribution, you can see the market poke it up. Now, the only thing that we are quite concerned is the red pentagon. If the red pentagon would come up, then we'll see a likelihood of a stage four. That's where we have. And also watch out for the volume, okay? Watch for volume and not to forget the sell-off bar here see right now we do have what we call the three bar down pullback and let me just share with you in here so this is where we are let me just bring out everything here and now uh, you can see we have the market breakout and this is also correspond with the foreign funds inflow all right the foreign funds inflow that you see on the VSA 360, I right, correspond to this. And of course, when the market hits up here, whenever you get this thing, what you call white spread bar, like this one, a uh, very long bar, you will always see a uh, distribution, okay, two to three bars. And once it's pulsed, which over here, then what we wanna see is finding a support. This is where the first is finding support. It's pullback from the old peak. That is true, but not what we want to see here is another pullback. This is a nice, what we call PB. And now we want to see a market uptick or turn upwards. Okay. Upwards. Turn up. Okay. So that's what you want to be getting. So on that, we also look at the cousin, uh, the cousin which is the trade VSA indicator that we have on the futures chart. Though. So this is FKLI, right, which is the futures. Let me just make note of it in here. It is a leading indicator. So as such, you can see from here, right, market also break up, turn green pentagon, and then you have one, two, three, four. Four bar, usually we get four bar market will start to have something like a spring here, and that's just how you're gonna go out. But good thing is, as I said before, using the VSA 360, you could see the inflow has stayed in and it stayed above the 200 day moving average, right? So now we, what we'll do is just wait for another catalyst. And remember, the November month are the most bullish months going ahead. So this catalyst is gonna give you a lot of firepower to push up here. Now, if you enjoy what we have said before on this sharing of this education in here, give us a thumbs up in here and uh, we are happy to really share more insight with the market. And many of you uh, may have known the so-called uh, things that I look at every day, either the macroeconomics plus the indicator that will put you ahead 80% of what we see in the market. All right, and thank you for coming today. Of course, we have just talked about these two in here. I don't think we're gonna end up with a minus 2.66% for the year return. We just got another one more month to go and then next year we'll start back 2024. You can see, Beginning in 2026 onwards, I've been in the market. So I've really been a student of the market, I suppose. And for those of you who have stayed with me since 2016, uh, may have seen this market go through thick and thin. And I, I appreciate for those of you who have heed my advice and decided to also uh, diversified to other markets like the US market has been very, very beneficial for all of it. And with VSA 360, we continue to take you to the next step. Now on our trade VSA stock selection, we will be talking uh, the advanced uh, advanced no supply screener, which has been uh, one of the popular from our uh, our previous uh, senior trainer Zach in here. But let's take a look at one of the success on the second of November. Right, these screeners that comes out are advanced screener in here, so you can look from from this part. Very important for those of you who are using it. You can put on. Let me just show you how we do this, and I think you can see the easiest way is. 
let me just go onto the screener go to no supply right and we're going to swing back to the second of November to see how the success is so you can see here we want to put in minus 0.5 and we also want to put in 15 because we are buying uh, stocks is this second of November or let me take a look again second of November okay so all right we want to put in minus five now this is on the 9th, so we need to submit first, okay? So you can submit, you can see 2nd of November, we put in minus 0 0.5 and we also put in 15. The reason why we put in 15 is that we want to avoid all the purple cell. You can see here, if I take this out, you can see all the purples is here, right? But once I put in 15, because we don't want the stock to run out, and this is what we talk about in here. Huh? Let me just bring back here. So the stocks generally, if I just put it here, right the stocks you see the ns right so you have lots of good what we call good background okay this is the ns bar in here so we want to make sure we enter around here but if you put in the uh, so-called plus 15 okay or greater than plus 15 onwards then the stock is very high because this is where you know we want to talk about the pullback this is like the beginning of the stage two when you put it above plus 15, which is the purple, okay, sell, then it is in the uh, in the above in the high, okay, higher S2 likelihood the market will turn. So we want to avoid that, especially right now, which is at the stage two shares. Okay, so just keep that in mind. So what we do here, we put uh, uh, 15 here, right, and we put minus five. And you can see we are up to here, all right? So you can see T Global is only 5,000 shares, all right? And uh, 5,000 shares in here. But this one in here, Apollo Food, looks pretty good. It's a small looking... Now, remember, keep in mind, when we look at NS, it's different from the VSA Turbo Trading. Some of these stocks are uh, going to be low. And if you look at Apollo, okay, let's look at the fundamental Apollo. It is 5 out. It pays a 4% dividend. Yeah, pay a 4% dividend, but this is usually the, the kind of market where we can, ROE of 14 in here, and uh, it's a small cap stock, right? Small cap stock, 420 million in here. Huh? So let's, let's keep this in mind, okay? So uh, what we have seen so far in the market, so NS for the in here. And of course, let's take a look for today for the example for our existing member here so we can go on to no supply and we switch back to the nine which is yesterday all right so yesterday again we put in minus 0 0.5 and minus five here so we are in systack this one we have to put in 15. you only left with this stock ah elder tech not bad we have a ns here so we can switch on to the chart here edl LD Tech. Uh, there you go. You got an NS bar here. Came from the... Wow, look at that. All the way, all the way down. All the way down. All the way, all the way down. And finally, we hit NS. And you can see here, low volume, volume started to pick up. So keep in mind, this may be an interesting one to see whether how much can this thing go back up, okay? So LD Tech for the NS. Now let's take a look at also a good idea to check one of the uh, fee, main feature of the uh, is the insider buying and selling in here. You can see from here. So let's look at the last uh, segment that we did, which is the 29th of September, right? You can see from here uh, the chart comes up too early. <laughs> okay, let me just bring this up again. Okay, so. Let's see this stock, Ramso. Okay, so Ramso, you can see, was up 11%. Now, Ramso, when we first spotted it, was around here, right? The uh, 29th of September, which we did. You can see, 29th of September, it did go up 11%. And then finally, when the red pentagon comes out, that's a part you need to go. Just because insider are buying doesn't mean that you cannot take profit, right? If you do take some profit maybe you break even but at least you have a red pen got but usually when you get about 11 percent that's pretty good all right so next we have is uh uh v that that's right now we know v that actually uh around the 27 29 of september right 29 of september the market was around here 
and it only sort of broke down on the 20th of October, right? It actually go up to about 57%. Still get about 10% move in here before the red pentagon. So once you see red pentagon, uh, even if you see that on this market, need to chabot, huh? need to chabot because the market may go through big sell off. So if you see in the red pentagon here, right? And then you avoided this big sell off and you know you imagine you gone in here and then sort of lose back here it's a shame shame thing huh? shame shame thing in here and that's about a 10 percent move when we first saw it on the 29th of september which is here 29th september and then up to here a 10 percent move and then we have jsb jantayu okay jantayu is one of those and you can see here uh buying and you can see Jentayu buying somewhere around here. Yep, this spot here. And uh, up to 10th of November today, it's a 29.4% in here. And this one, there's no red pangon. So no red pangon, you can see, uh, compared to VDAT and uh, the previous one that you see, right? The market don't sell off. So as long as you don't have the red pangon, you can get in for a nice 29% return with the uh, in here. Of course, nothing. And then we also have BJ Food. All right, BJ Food uh, did go. It didn't go much after you can see the market pull back here. One more bar, and then the red pentagon comes out, and then the market break. So red pentagon, especially in the uh, insider buying and selling, really, really makes a lot of difference for those of you in here. Okay, so let's take a look at this week insider buying. So this week insider buying, we have a whole lot of it was from Gatronics. You can see bye bye bye. Whether this market can go higher or not. Now there was a lot of very very uh, call to sell here, call to hold, call to sell. A uh, very negative report came up, but analysts are calling to sell, but insider are buying. So what do you think? Ah, interesting, isn't it? Right. So they know. Let's go back next week again. And we also have Syntex. That's a call to buy here. We have a NS. Okay, and then lots of buying in here uh, to see. But these are very slow moving stocks. Uh, not like what we saw for Gentayu, VDAT and uh, the, the others, right? This one, uh, but we'll see next week. Okay, so um, now, as I said before, part of the VAC 360 has been to encourage members of the public that is really interesting to take up the uh, so-called leadership in trading handling the account themselves in here. We invite you to join our current uh, membership drive, which is the 7th of September to the March, which is still ongoing in here. Bring out the best in you. And what better way, especially right now, uh, we are doing the 11 levels, so like what we've seen in our members, right? Sukumaran on here, went through our orientation in here, has done pretty, pretty well in here. And uh, this Sukumaran taking a good holiday in here and a uh, well-deserved one, as you can see, uh, continue to do very, very well in the uh, winning rates. And also, uh, re this is only for six months return in here. I'm sure that many of you who follow the same regimen and completes the assignment and also some of the works that we've done through to our orientation, you will also have this opportunity to do as well as some of our members. And of course, right now, our 11 sales, rather than the usual 2688 for 12 months, you will get all right, the same 12 months for 1688. All right, so head on to our uh, Facebook page or the WhatsApp at 0102669 to take hold of this once in, in at least for as much as I know this is the first sale that we did uh, for our 1111 uh, sales in here. For those of you who are interested to pursue to the next level, bringing the best trading in here, just like our members who done very reasonably well in here. Our continue to get major good review from our members in here. And also we love to hear your feedback uh, on how the things that we're doing and what are the things we can do to make your trading as enjoyable like what we have seen so far. All right, so right now we're going on to, to our stock uh stock review if you have any stock review that you want me to look at feel free to uh, pencil in i'm happy to look into it if not thank you for coming and uh, don't forget right our youtube subscribe to our youtube in here and uh our 11 11 sale will end tomorrow at midnight so take this opportunity and i'll see you next monday have oh next monday is a public holiday so we will do 
our live training on Monday night so there won't be any breakfast show. I'll see you on Wednesday. Thank you for coming and thank you for your support. And I hope that some those of you who has been thinking about joining our uh, membership and also our mentorship in here, this is definitely an opportunity. Bye-bye.